Well, good day my friends. Today we are at the International Space Museum. It is already closed for the day. We're actually here for a grave. Alamogordo, New Mexico. Days of Jordan the Lion begins right now. here to see ham. So if you walk out to the flagpoles, world famous hams gravesite is right over here. So if you come over here to the front section, our man, our chimp is honored here, as he should be. World's first astro chimp ham. Born 1955 in Africa. He died in 1983 in the North Carolina Zoological Park. Cam was trained at Holloman Air Force Base, actually very close to here. It says, um, in the research laboratory, Ham's training culminated on January 3rd, 1961 by riding in a capsule perched atop an 83-foot redstone rocket Launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, reaching a top speed of 5,800 miles per hour and an altitude of 155, he was recovered at sea 420 miles downrange from the launch site. Ham proved that mankind could live and work in space. Dedicated March 28, 1983. Thank you, Ham. Now if you go to the other side of this, it explains why they put the museum here. And it has to do with the 1969 Apollo mission. Ham is actually on the other side of this wall. So when we come to the back side, it says this spot marks Earth. This marker commemorates the Apollo 11 Tranquility Base Archaeological Site on the moon as LA 2 million in the state of New Mexico's archeological records management section database. Represents the, the site created by the Apollo astronauts on July 20th, 1969 on the moon, 238,857 miles from Earth. The New Mexico Museum of Space History serves as the host for the LA 2 million on Earth. Location of this marker at the museum will be forever linked to the lunar site landing. Very cool. And it says this location marked the first effort to preserve the cultural heritage on the moon here on Earth. 